Today I will show you how to make the black and white CRT. Yo, hello, it's Povika from Editing Visuals here, and let's begin. So here we have Yeet chilling, I don't know what he's doing, and what we can do is we can right click, press pre-compose, and here, uh, let's call it like black and white, and now let's pre-compose again, uh, press move all attributes into new composition, and call it a CRT, let's double click on this, now go to composition, composition settings, and here we want to make this to actually 720 uh, by 480, alright, press OK. And now you see Yid is a bit zoomed in, so we can zoom him out a bit, so press S and then zoom out. I think 37.5 uh, works very well. We can press Ctrl Alt Y and the first effect we will add it will be glow. Uh, we just want a normal glow here, nothing else. Uh, make the glow threshold 46.3%, glow intensity 0.3. Now we need to add CC Vignet. I just like to make the angle of view a bit smaller, so 43. Uh, now we need to add CC lens, make the size 334, convergence minus 200. Uh, now we need to add the grid, this is basically the effect that gives you the CRT look. And we need to make the size from width and height sliders, uh, make the width 2, height uh, 4, and the border 1. Go to color, make it black, go to blending mode, make it hard light. And the last effect we'll add is uh, Gaussian blur. I uh, wouldn't say this is a needed effect, but you can have it. Uh, make the blurriness free and click on repeat edge pixels. We already have the sort of CRT and now we can go to this black and white layer that we made previously by double pressing on it. Alright, so it will be like this now. And you can press Ctrl Alt Y again. And here we want to add transform, uh, make the scale 119. Now we need to add the glow. Again, normal glow, that's it. Actually added two times, by the way. So make this glow threshold to 79.2%, glow radius 21, and the glow intensity to 0.6. Now go to glow 2, make the glow radius 143, and now we're going to add echo. Alright, this is not a needed effect, but I think it works very well with this black and white CRT. So make the number of echoes 5. Make the echo operator maximum. Ah, you can very much mess around here. Uh, you don't usually even need the echo, but I like it here. Personally, uh, you can delete it if you don't want it. Honestly, just check out what works for your clip. And another effect that you don't fully need is uh, Luma Key. <laughs> These settings are gonna be very different for you probably, but I like to have threshold 200 on this specific clip. You might need to make this way lower. You might not even need to have the Luma key. On some clips, even I delete Luma key. But here, I kind of like it at 200. And another effect is black and white. I personally don't really change anything here. And another effect is CC lens. Uh, make the convergence minus 155. The size uh, 245. Add sharpen. <laughs> now this is gonna be a big amount, but uh, make it 695. But yeah, you start seeing these like sort of edges here. And the last effect that's also actually not needed is uh, posterized time. Uh, you really need to play a lot here, not gonna lie. But what I like to do with posterized time is I like to make the frame rate two times smaller than what I usually have on my clip. So I have 24 here, as you can see. I'm gonna make it 12. Now, if you had 30 frames per second, then you would have this as 15. This very much depends on your clip and what you're trying to do. Sometimes you really don't even need to have this effect. And this is actually kind of it. So what we can do now is we can save these because you definitely don't want to make this again. Uh, so you can press Control A and go to animation, save animation preset. And here you can create a new folder by right clicking, pressing new, new folder. I would call it black and white CRT effect. And I already have it saved actually here. And this one we can call, for example, uh, BAW black and white bottom layer. Uh, press save. And now we can go back to our CRT composition. And here we need to press here, press on one of the effects and press Ctrl A. Uh, go to animation, save animation preset. And here you can call it BAW top layer. I also like to type 720x480 just to remember. Save. And now let's go back to our original composition. Now you will see that the clip is quite smaller, so we need to press S. And now just scale it up to your liking. I personally think uh, some, somewhere around 300 is very good. And here we have basically made our black and white CRT. Now there are a lot of different things you can change around here. Uh, one thing you can actually do with this effect is I like, go back here, as you can see, and go back to the black and white layer actually. And we can press Ctrl C on our clip. Come back here, below this whole layer, press Ctrl V. And you'll have this like cool blend in CRT. I really don't know how to call it, but this is a really cool effect to have as well. Uh, of course you might not want it, so you can do 
delete it. I also have other suggestions for you as well. So you can go back to the black and white composition and here you can turn this adjustment layer off, press Control alt y and on this adjustment layer you can add a lot of different effects from our editing visuals website. On the website we have a bunch of editing packs, for example my personal best pack, the VHS pack. This pack contains over 120 overlays, so for example like VHS glitch overlays, VHS extra, VHS nice frames, VHS recording and it also has tutorials and you can learn to make videos such as the ones that I have on the screen with the tutorials. You also get 10 plus presets for the pack as well, so this is where the presets come in. I recommend adding for example VHS effect 2 on top of this adjustment layer and you will have this sort of night vision effect and now go back to your first composition that you had. This is like a night vision CRT. You also get this glitch as well. Another effect for example you could add here uh, VHS effect 4 and I'll go back to my settings or whatever your first composition and you will have this color changing CRT. This pack is on our editing visuals website and I really recommend to check out my VHS pack. Alright that's basically it for the tutorial. If you need any help then please let me know. This effect has a lot of great uses by the way. I uh, really just remember to sometimes delete the posterized time or the luma key or the echo. Those three effects are definitely not needed for this CRT but they do make it look better in a lot of the cases actually. For a darker clip you might need to lower the luma key threshold quite a bit. I can get back to you way faster on discord. Uh, we have a discord server where other editors can help you there as well and that's about it. Alright it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.